Good evening. Thank you, Joe. We all have a story, and I'd like to share mine with you. I grew up with a sibling who taught me by example the importance of human connection and how much we need one another. My younger brother, Eric, who suffers with a developmental disability, struggled with the activities of daily living we often take for granted. At a very early age, due to my parents' infirmity, I took on the responsibility for his care and well-being. When I signed the conservatorship documents, with a stroke of a pen, instinctively, I began to worry about his future. My thoughts were, who will take care of him if something happens to me? I took on the responsibility with a full heart, but as time progressed, I realized I couldn't do it alone. It was overwhelming and at times disheartening. My brother was always frustrated and I was physically, financially, and emotionally exhausted. We needed help. And it wasn't until I turned to the community for support that I began to feel hopeful and optimistic that we could make it. Helping my brother was a gift for me. I emerged from the experience with a tremendous amount of gratitude for the kindness, generosity, and power of community. Which brings us to why we're here tonight and why Moise and I are so honored to be a part of this community, the ETA community. ETA's mission is to help individuals with developmental disabilities and their families who love them live fully enriched lives. On a personal level, it runs a little deeper for us. Moise and I get joy and satisfaction being connected to the clients, their siblings, their families, and the volunteers. We look at the volunteers with admiration and marvel at their commitment, kindness, love, and care for all the participants. It's hard to accurately describe the Shabbatones if you haven't experienced them personally, but I assure you, it's truly magical. As I reflect back over the years, my biggest fear was who will take care of Eric? I heard an amazing statement from Marilyn Stein, a parent of one of Etta's residents. It echoed my sentiments and really hit home for me. Once her son was settled in an Etta home, not only could she die in peace, she poignantly says she's now living in peace. That is the power of Etta. And that is what... And that is why Moise and I are so honored and blessed to be here with each and every one of you as we celebrate this extraordinary organization. Thank you. As Angie just shared with us, ETA and its incredible staff provide extraordinary care and support for all their clients and their families, giving them comfort and peace peace of mind knowing their sons or daughters will be cared for in a loving manner. Another very, comp very important component of ETA that resonates deeply with Angie and me is the volunteer leadership component of ETA. We are privileged to know these extraordinary young men and women and observe firsthand their dedication and love for ETA's precious clients. We see siblings from the same family volunteer year after year. When the volunteer gets older and goes away to yeshiva, seminary, or college, they pass the baton to the younger siblings. I know one particular family that has eight children. For the many years, for the 10 years, Angie and I have been hosting the Shabbatons, they have had one or two of their children consistently volunteering in the Shabbatons. Their involvement with ETA became a legacy in their family. Coincidentally, their oldest son met his future wife while both were volunteering at one of our Shabbatons. They probably will be upset at me, but, I, but they are Asher and Sharon Levine. They deserve that ovation. 
<laughs> These volunteers inspire us and give us hope for a better world. Angie and I would like to especially thank the host families for welcoming Etta clients and volunteers into their homes for the Shabbatons. We'd, we would also like to thank our, the rabbis and shul members for warmly integrating the participants into the services. The Shabbatons are successful because of their collaborative efforts. <laughs> Dr. Held, your vision and commitment to this community and your love of Etta's clients is a beacon of light for all of us. I would, I would also like to take this opportunity to thank my wife, Angie, for being a full partner in our work on behalf of Etta. Angie is a backbone of our home and provides the incredible atmosphere that welcomes Etta's family into our family. Angie and I are especially blessed to have my mother here tonight joining us for a cause so dear to, to us. I have a surprise for my mom, for Angie, and for all of you tonight. Our dear friend, Ephraim Harkim, has arranged for us to be entertained by the world-famous tenor, Carlo de Antonis.